Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, weapon review video. Now, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing my new favorite weapon, which I got last week from the Prevair sale when we had the 25% uh, discount, and I got the bloody 33% VATS hit chance and less AP cost uh, plasma gun. Now, I tried it in. Uh, rifle build and uh, other builds basically I prefer the pistol build and you will see why by the way I do plan to make the weapon review in all dif uh, different possible forms including commando rifle etc but in this video we're gonna co focus only on the pistol build uh, use the timestamps to maneuver through the video because at the start I want to show you the weapon in action against a variety of different amount of creatures afterwards I will cover the mods for the plan but you can see them right now uh, my pistol build my mutations my gear and how you get mods and stuff like that so basically additional information so stop wasting time and jump right into it all right so the first targets would be the humans and uh, the behemoth which is located in this area so we're gonna start with blood eagles and by the way uh, blood eagles are also really nice to go and farm and the reason is that they can drop this gun and you by scrapping the gun can earn the mods so even the laser you can pick it up and and pretty much scrap and get the mods for it uh, now you can also craft the gun and scrap the mods, but as you can see with humans, this weapon is having no issues whatsoever. Although with uh, bigger type of enemies, sometimes I do struggle a little bit. So there we go, humans. Oh man, why did my rats come? So I wasn't even fully under the adrenaline range, and already was doing that insane amount of damage. <laughs> Lol. Alright, so behemoth time, where are you? There he is. So let's deal with him and show you the amount. By the way, this is no sneak. Uh, no sneak build because, first of all, this weapon is not the sneaky type of weapon. So as you can see, two shots, bam. Decent amount of damage. But still, I will need like 18 bullets to take him out. Because one clip holds nine bullets. And unfortunately I ran out of AP. So with bigger enemies I do face some issues. <laughs> what the hell is going on? The damage is not registering. Those server lags are freaking stupid. Like honestly, what the hell? But basically, it's still a decent gun, right? Alright, the next target that we're gonna try out is the are located in Highland Marsh. We're going to be killing the Marlick Queen and other Marlicks. So we can take a look. To be honest, this gun is not the best against like uh, big enemies, but I'll use just the pistol so you can see uh, how long, how much time it's going to take you to take out uh, the Queen, for instance. But usually, what I would do, I'll just pick up my uh, Junkies minigun, Goss minigun, and finish her off rather quickly. But as you can see, my lurks are definitely no issue. And since I'm using the adrenaline right now, I should boost up a little bit of my damage. Now she's level 60 though, not the best test subject. With a level 100, I'm definitely going to have way more issues to be honest. But this pistol, to be honest, is the best for like going out and killing like ghouls, uh, super mutants and other types of creatures but not definitely not queen gun and definitely not uh, I mean a uh, scorched beast queen and definitely not a Marla queen gun <laughs> that's for sure as you can see it took a rather a lot of ammo to take her out alright so this is our next uh, subject is a sentry bot once again for some reason he's a low level but you you get the point but in like in honestly, honestly, the best way to kill a sentry bot, you can kill him with one shot if you hit the fusion course. <laughs> and it don't matter what gun you use, to be honest. <laughs> That's the best way to ki kill that guy. <laughs> but usually they, it goes down like with 
you know what let's just go to white springs and uh, I'll show you how many times I need to shoot in order to take him out white springs oh I hope nobody killed him there alright so here we are and we got level 75 this time so I'm just gonna shoot him shoot him and not shoot him in torso as you can see it's awk And I'm still very super tanky. <laughs> but the best way to take him out is the fusion force. One shot and he's out. Question, who knew about that? Comment down below. Alright, our next uh, subject is located in ne next to the home maintenance. And it's a Grafton monster and Snallygaster. Uh, yeah, as I said, we're going to be testing this gun out on a... Uh, a lot of different variety of creatures. So level 60 Grafton Monster. We're doing pretty ook. What? I uh, just wanted to find his head. Unfortunately, I ain't got no head. <laughs> hey, what'd you give me here? Thank you. And two Snallagassers over there real fast to double check how everything is going. Oh man, some cockroach killed my Snallagassers. Well, I don't think that these guys should be a problem. I think if we took that guy out, these guys definitely no problem. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, our next location is the White Springs Golf Club. And we're going to be testing it against uh, the ghouls. A lot of ghouls. And uh, have in mind, we're not the sneaky picky build type. So we're just going to run in here. Usually, I would say on, on my practice, if I initiate headshots, it's uh, mainly like two shot or one shot but mainly it's two shot. If I initiate the critical, it's one shot. But very easy, no problemo. Like one shot, boom. Two shot, two shot. But it, ever since they made the nerf, uh, mainly it's uh, a two shot thing, not a one shot anymore. Even with shotguns and stuff like that. Well, shotgun, some shotguns can still one-shot enemies, like no problem. And I'm not using Gunpu, by the way, just in case, which could in increase my damage even more. I'm gonna, sh as I mentioned, uh, if you want to see my build, it's down in the timestamps, and you can see everything. So, basically, I don't need to show you more. Uh, the ghouls are definitely not a problem for this gun. Definitely not new problem and by the way here's a quick tip for those who did not know there's a magic fountain over here that you can drink and get rid of your disease boom did you know that our next targets are uh, in uh, located blackwater mine these are well i really hope that they are glowing uh mole miners well level 75 is also good to take a look at so that was a three shot right there and we got one more over there boom Two shot, two shot. So mainly, out like in short, I will put it this way: this gun is two slash three shots per enemy, unless if you initiate a critical, like on higher uh, enemies. Usually, that's what I do. If I see a higher level guy, I will just use my uh, that's critical to take even more damage out of him. But when you see my build, you'll see that. Uh, it's not fully focused on maximum damage uh, and uh, you can make it even stronger depending on your playstyle so pretty much these guys not a problem as well all right and everybody's favorite location West Egg this is uh, the super mutant uh, top location to kill super mutants and super mutants are the guys that we farm for the XP so as you can see it's mainly three shot for me with these guys, but still, it's already a good job. If I initiate VATS criticals, it's gonna be a two shot, boom. So no problem. Not, don't need to sneak around. Level 100 ghoul, I mean, Hound went down with two shot without VATS critical. Level 100 guy from Super Mutants, 3 shots, 2 shot, 
two shot. So anything above 75, I would say it's going to be a three shot. But once again, you can also boost up your damage and can make that into a two shot. This is just the way I prefer playing. So, boom. No problem. The next test subjects that we're going to use as are robots. Now with robots, this gun, well, maybe it's just me, but it's definitely having a hard time with the robots. So for example, boom, see, four shots. That's head. See? So with robots, this may not be like the best gun. So it's like four shotting because I'm pretty sure they have a resistance. But anyway. With my build, these guys pretty much don't kill me, so I'm totally fine. And uh, the final test subject that I want to take out is the... Uh... Man, I keep forgetting the name of those. Uh, ninja robots, how I call them. <laughs> oh, there it is. Assaultron! Hello, Assaultron. How you doing? So yeah, best way is to initiate the VATS critical and make sure you have your AP, otherwise, like... Get out of here. So yeah, if you're gonna be using a pistol, to, but but with rifles, I had the situation was way better. The only problem with rifles, it drains way more AP per shot. Uh, but I have a little separate build with that, thanks to the uh, build I'm still working on. I'm still m missing out a couple of perk cards, but I will be able to make a review on that one. And I'll explain in more details what's going on. The rifle is definitely really good. Shown really good against Scorched Beasts. I haven't tried the pistol yet, so I'm going to try the pistol with you while making this video. So, let's go and kill the Scorched and Scorched Beast. That's going to be the final target. Alright, so I just arrived at the Fisher site. We got our Scorched. Now, this is a primed weapon, so definitely with Scorched, uh, the regular ones, there shouldn't be an issue. And as you can see, even from far distance, I got good range. So, it's really nice. Boom. Well, now what about the Scorched? Yep. With Scorched, there's gonna be a little bit of an issue, unfortunately. I'm gonna keep that guy to refill my AP. So, yeah, with Scorched. But, you know what? With shotguns, it, it, the situation was far worse because of the uh, range, right? And I had to wait for it to land. But with the pistol, at least I can do something. It's not dying in seconds as I used to kill it with seconds with my Commando Fixer build uh, back in the day when I used to play on PC. But this is is already not too bad, especially for a pistol. Pistol. Alright. There we go. No problem. Basically, it's not a problem at all. It's actually pretty easy, convenient. Look at that range. Just one shot, bam. I, I love this pistol I'm going to be using for some time. I decided kind of to make a little switch from my shotguns and uh, play around as a pistol build. And I'm actually really enjoying it. Alright, so in regards to my mods, I personally prefer to use the Prime uh, Capacitor. Uh, basically, it increases damage uh, via superior damage and damage against Scorched Beasts and Scorched, so that's one. And a true sniper barrel uh, for a reason of the distance. So basically the distance and the actual damage. So as you can see, with, this, with the true sniper barrel is 110. Uh, the true splitter is different, I believe it's a shotgun. I haven't tested it out. The flamer, which I'm going to test out a little bit later on, etc. I, I've tested this gun with the rifle uh, men perks and uh, the pistol one. I personally prefer pistol, uh, but I will do a separate video on the uh, rifle, right? And uh, all others, so as you can see over here, there's a whole bunch of mods over here. I have unlocked all 40 of them. I'll get into the mods also within this video as well, once we get to the category. So for the grip, I use the standard grip. 
I don't see the point of uh, operating it. By the way, if you put this on, this is going to become automatically a rifle. It will stop benefiting from the gun, uh, gunslinger perks, well, pistol perks, and it will become a rifle instead of uh, a pistol, and it will definitely drain more AP per shot. And standard sights, I don't really need anything else. So these are my mods and how I rock this gun. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at my legendary perk cards and my other perk cards. Uh, personally, myself, I run with all the stats perks, which are maxed out. And I usually sometimes switch the intelligence perk to a perception perk, and I pretty much can use uh, whatever gun I want. Uh, the intelligence right now doesn't really give me an, an, any additional buff because my stat is 215. But since I'm aiming to get as much XP right now as possible, I run. Uh, this legendary perk card to boost my intelligence so but I can switch it to perception and get additional damage let's just shoot the glowing ones etc now for the strength right now uh, I'm running around with the strong back barbarian for extra uh, defense uh, study frame for, to reduce the weight of uh, uh, the armor that I'm getting uh, heavy gunner just one uh, usually I would run with uh, three heavy gunner perks but one star because if I run into, let's say, for example, that uh, Myrla Queen, which I'm having issues with, I usually pick up the Goss Minigun, and uh, the Goss Minigun uh, just eliminates that uh, Queen with no problemo. But just for this, uh, right now, basically, I'm not going for the big targets. I'm just going uh, to farm my XP and get my legendaries and get my uh, scrap. So basically, I pick up whatever guns, and I scrap them. Sometimes I unlock mods because... The, the guns you scrap you give you have a chance to unlock mods I've covered that twice in the video bandolier for to reduce the weight of my ammo the reason is I'm doing a lot of daily ops and I'm getting a lot of ammo ultra sight whatever I'm using so I have a whole bunch of ammo if I take this part card off I'm just gonna overweight instantly and blocker to s help me to survive from those ghouls so this part card is a jewel because with bloody build a ghoul can easily one shot you with the blocker perk that's not the case and you've seen it in action uh, tank killer now benefits pistols so it boosts up the damage for the pistol that's what I'm definitely using concentrated fire uh, I, concentrated yeah I said that right <laughs> fire basically just one star because I don't need it, it was all maxed out to three stars uh, I use it one just to initiate those headshots to to do the damage and kill the enemies one, two, two, uh, two, three hits. If I initiate the criticals, basically it goes a little bit more. Uh, and once again, if I were to remove my intelligence uh, legendary perk card, replace it with perception, I'll have more perception. I can put that three star and put whatever other perk cards I want. Uh, even transform myself into a rifle uh, build. Uh, for Edrens, I'm running uh, Ironclad for e that extra defense since I'm not the Sneaky Peaky type. I, I, honestly, I got tired of Sneaky Peaky type builds, so I'll do them. I'll show you how they perform with other guns. Not with this gun, because with this gun, it's pointless. Uh, you get uh, kind of like uh, alerted very easy because there's no silencer with the plasma gun. So... This, all these defense perks, they allow me to, and they keep me alive, basically. I don't get one-shotted. Remember all my previous live streams, uh, in a lot of other situations, when I was doing my bloody build, I would, like, most of the times get one-shotted by the ghoul, sometimes two shots is required, but mainly it's, I don't know, maybe server lag or something, but even though it was under 20%, that ghoul can just pop out of nowhere, and bam, and kill me and, and man I would get so pissed especially when that happens a lot I would get frustrated it's like man so this really helps and I, I run that those who watched my live streams on Twitch you saw how the build performs and it's actually a really good build uh, and I'm still working on making it uh, I need additional perk cards but with this build I can use whatever gun I want whenever I want and whatever weapons and so on and so forth inspirational for uh, that ex extra XP field sergeant stim packs and right away will now uh, work much more quickly which is very important because I'm combining it with the first aid and I'm combining it with born survivor under 20 percent of health now you guys are asking me but Z stim packs Bro, you're always under 20% of health. Basically, this card triggers whenever I get shot. 
<laughs> so one time shot but there's still a delay so I have a whole bunch of stim packs I'm gonna get into it just in a second let me explain all the perk cards and then I'll get into that topic stranger numbers to increase the mutation uh, the benefits of my mutations uh, tenderizer to increase my damage on the second shot and uh, oh wait that's not my partner <laughs> so first aid uh, stim packs restore 45 percent of lost health which is important uh, nerd rage also important uh, damage resistance AP regen and damage uh, batteries once again ammo issue I, I need it <laughs> I can't get rid of it although I can transfer everything to my mules but man I can't be bothered to be honest and I I like having things on me like I really do so I'm not gonna get rid of it and put something else on top plus there's honestly there's nothing else to put uh, scrapper because right now I'm farming uh, junk and from weapons scrapper intelligence uh, you scrap weapons you get a lot of uh, you can if you're like laser rifles you can get plastic steel wood whatever in huge amount of uh, uh, quantities especially if you have the weapon weight reduction legendary effect on your armor which I have a full set I can pick a, a lot of different guns and just scrap them I'll be loaded with steel like no problem uh, but for this video I've used actually my combat armor and which is not the best yet but I'm trying to get there and it's not even modded because I was u using secret service and I still haven't bought the mods for it uh, so basically this build you can like make it even better depending on your playstyle so we're getting to the damage the agility through hiker I, I love it because I love having a lot of food drinks on me whatever I know there's a lot of people who don't use this and don't use uh, good with salts it's your game man you, you don't use it whatever I don't like making super OP builds like they can like one shot or two shot or just go insane I like having things balanced out so this is me and that's your stuff alright uh, born survivor as I explained this triggers every time I get hit so I don't get killed and that's why I was so tanky in that moment if you haven't scrolled through the video uh, white knight helps my armor not to break Honestly, with this is for me is a must-have because I get shot a lot and the armor breaks really fast. If you're to do a sneaky build, essentially you will not need this part. But when you're not sneaky build, you're getting shot a lot and your armor breaks actually really fast. Thank you to this part card. It actually reduces the speed of my arm getting break broken. Usually, if I'm running without this white knight, I need to go and repair like within 15-20 minutes of gameplay, depending on how much action I'm doing with that time right usually I'm always in action the adrenaline increases the damage done uh, per killed enemy and uh, also lasts for 30 seconds and it kind of refreshes every time you kill an enemy uh, and gunslinger perks essentially that's uh, the uh, pistol damage right and they're all one stars so that's what I uh, like having uh, green reaper sprint I usually play around with this, so I have Bloody Mess 2 and Grim Sprint, or Grim Sprint, Lucky Break, and Lucky Draw, so my things don't break. But to be honest, uh, like 3 star is the best option because uh, now that you don't pretty much one shot everything, right? And uh, it takes 2 3 shots, so you still use up that AP, and this uh, increases the chances of getting the eight, all of your AP back. So I'm running this one 3 star. Uh, serendipity essentially to survive more right uh, while under 30% of health I'm always under 20% gain 45% chance to avoid damage uh, class freak uh, removes the negative uh, effects from my mutations always on star genes always on so I don't remove my mutations by mistake or get any others that I do not want and good with salt so my food doesn't spoil faster I know I can collab instead of this and put on some uh, like that's critical like a critical filler uh, to fill in a lot quicker and all that stuff or damage for the criticals yes that is also very good but I prefer my good with salt <laughs> so these are the per cards that I'm running with oh yeah so uh, I almost forgot field surgeon uh, first aid and board survivor they eat up a lot of a lot of stim packs usually when I'm not in combat I remove this thing because whenever you get hungry like I'm um, in the case right now almost it will start draining my uh, stim packs but I have a lot of stim packs and I'll tell you how I get them so it's additional tip and 
tip and trick. And by the way, this also uh, covers the ammo situation of this gun. The daily ops gives a lot of stim packs, gives a lot of ammo, and I do daily ops every day just to get my stim packs, to get my ammo, to get my caps, to get to get my script. By the way, you have a chance of getting 5, 10, 25, 50 script per run. So the maximum I got was 150 script within three hours of gameplay, doing only daily ops. That's additional, not not uh, counting that uh, script machine over there. So in that day, I've made 300 script instead of 150. So daily ops is a really good addition to us, the gamers of Fallout 76. So as you can see, let me kind of quickly show you my stim packs. But there is a there is a big also thing that I'm doing besides uh, the daily ops for the uh, farming that's gonna go in a separate video and I'm gonna call it something like why I do daily ops so you can see I got 1291 stim packs I'm even selling these things sometimes <laughs> hey so uh, let's take a look at my mutations Alright, so my mutations. I got the Adrenal Reaction, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herby War, Herb Metalities, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed Dim. The speed Dim for faster speed, Scaly Skin, uh, Damage Resist, Energy Resist. Uh, basically, Herb War is the most important one, is double benefits from the vegetables. So basically, if I take a Cranberry Relish, which gives 10% uh, XP boost with this hurt mentality I get 20% and if I'm in a team and I'm benefiting from the uh, strange in numbers part card which is a part of the charisma I get 25% XP uh, additional so there we go uh, yeah so these are my mutations I also have addictions so whenever I'm using junkie so it's this is like a build all in one <laughs> so these are my mutations Alright, so the armor that I'm running with is four pieces of Secret Service armor. Uh, so I've got all of them unyielding, by the way. Strength, uh, fall reduced damage, uh, become harder to detect, but that's when sneaking. But I was, I'm not sneaking a lot, but essentially this armor gives the most uh, defense, which is good. Uh, another two star and another two star. While sprinting, I get 75% uh, chance to reduce damage. Uh, then I do have a separate set when I'm farming uh, so UW means weapon weight reduction this means I already have 80% of weapon weight reduction as you can see my uh, weight has changed a lot so for example if I put this back on boom for a hundred pounds plus if I put this what all of my weapons get reduced weight and I'm saving a lot of pounds I can still go and farm all the weapons I want just for a couple of good maybe even an hour pick everything up and then scrap everything this is this build I'm using whenever I just just chilling enjoying killing scrapping and that's it but once I'm doing the seasons I'm going with unyielding and intelligence so I got all pieces I'm missing one it's probably in my uh, stash uh, and uh, I get even more intelligence so that's my armor basically uh, these are all different sets uh, like it could be robot and stuff I'm not gonna go into it so the video don't, doesn't turn out to be super long alright and the final thing uh, some additional information and conclusion so first of all you can buy the plan for this gun it's the plasma gun I have in mind that number may differ from you depending on your uh, charisma I have a very high charisma that's why I have a very high discount <laughs> from the vendor, vendor bot. Now the plan can be bought in two locations the plasma gun right so it can be the vendor bot Phoenix at the uh, uh, Vatoga shopping plaza or you can go ahead and go to White Springs Resort and buy it from the Brotherhood vendor so you can buy the plan learn the plan and then you can make these uh, this weapon and scrap it to unlock mods the other way you can unlock mods is by uh, killing blood eagles. I'm not, I, I can't remember if cultists also use it. Maybe they do, but I'm, I know for a fact blood eagles they 
essentially if you go to just at least one location there's definitely gonna be one using this gun and they do give a, a lot of different variety of guns I usually farm all of these guys for uh, weapons mods armor so I can scrap it and learn the mods for it and essentially is it's another good way because not a lot of people come to these types of locations everybody usually knows all the best farming spots right uh, I usually you know, like when I really don't care and I'm just farming not focusing on XP I'm just jumping from these guys and thanks to these guys uh, you can get the plasma gun scrap it and have a chance to unlock some mods apart from the uh, prime uh, the prime one the prime cover or whatever receiver that one you can get as far as I know only from the scores beast queen with the chance obviously so or buy it from another person or ask on our discord if uh, anybody has a spare one etc so uh, yeah that's is in regards to the plants some additional information about the plasma gun how you can get it craft it what else am I missing uh, ammo as I said thanks to the daily ops ammo is not an issue you go and do your daily ops you'll come out of there with a lot of uh, daily ops personally myself when it's robots I uh, roll with my ghost shotgun because well as you saw the the plasma gun doesn't do really good with the robots so why bother <laughs> I usually use my, uh, farm the uh, ammo for my ghost minigun and ghost shotgun that I have uh, the reviews for those weapons will come in time and throughout this week hopefully if I'll have a little bit more time I want to deliver a rifle build with the same gun tomorrow then commando and other uh, mods that I can apply to it and see uh, in how many different ways you can use this plasma gun now in regards to the full HP builds that will come as soon as I find two last components for the armor and I'll be doing some full HP builds and gun reviews as well <coughs> oh sorry <laughs> So yeah, in conclusion, this pistol, man, it's good. I love it, I use it, and I'm going to be using it for a long time until I get bored of it and, and you start using something else. <laughs> so you should give it a try. And maybe even edit your build a little bit, boost that damage a little bit. Maybe it's going to be even better, but for now, this is what I like. Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling in the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them, so if you want your comments to be read by other people, don't swear and everything will be good. I also do highly appreciate any feedback on this video because I plan to create a new playlist on Z Review Guns, right? And uh, in order for me to make it better, uh, any suggestions, recommendations, please do comment down below and I'll try to apply them uh, with the next guns that I'm planning to review, etc. And uh, once again, thanks all for watching. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so have from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. We're about to hit 800 members. I do encourage you to read the rules. Otherwise, if you break something without knowing, you might get banned by me or by any of my mods. We are pretty strict. And uh, there is no unbanning process. So please read the rules. The link is down in the video description. Basically, everything you need to know is in the video description. Any additional links and stuff like that. So thanks all for watching. You all have a good one day and night. Whatever you guys like it at. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go